All right, folks. In this video, it's going to be about the uh, coolant for the TIG cooler. Uh, this coolant is pretty good. It's from Hypertherm and it's got 69, almost 70% water, polypropylene glycol, 30%, and 2% of benzotriazole. So I'm assuming that's the other ingredients after the 70% of the water that's going to be keeping your motor from rusting or having any issues. Uh, lots of people they'll use water and alcohol. There are so many different things that people use in their water coolers. I'm not taking that chance for almost a $500 cooler. Uh, I'm gonna put in what I'm supposed to put in. I will tell you something that I was talking to the guy about at the uh, welding store that got my attention because we were talking about the different types of liquids that you can use for your water cooler. What you can, what you really can't do, and what you don't want to do. That's all, you know, most of that is theory or it's truth or maybe there's facts in there. I don't know. But what I will tell you is, if you use what you're supposed to use and use the cooler liquid, then you know you're not going to have a problem. You just know you're not going to have a problem because nothing's going to happen. Uh, playing Russian roulette that's not for me not with expensive equipment so technically I'm just not gonna do that so but what I did learn was I remember when I very first time I bought my cooling solution for the uh, W30 here I was really skeptical the very first time I bought it because when I took the lid off of the very first one I bought they didn't have seals on them. Neither one of them had seals on them. And they were the clear liquid. And I remember this like yesterday, and this is a couple years ago. When I smelt one of them, it smelt, I assume, industrial, like it was supposed to smell. And when I opened the other one that didn't have a seal either, it smelt like water. It actually smelt, it had two different smells from the, the cooler liquid that I had bought before and I was telling the guy about it because when I got to the store I opened these up and they had seals I said wow they got seals on them he goes almost every one of them should have seals I said holy cow man I told him my story and that's what that's what got into the story about you know shops that will put water in and use it for their equipment or whatever they might have maybe they have a shop there they'll use it they'll put water in it and sell it off as, as whatever name brand it was because it's clear liquid and they didn't have the seals yes it happens can you prove it probably not unless you worked in the store and you watched them do it but um, this machine has been flawless both of them just I haven't had issues with any one of them but I did use you know the proper liquid for it the reason this is pink. I believe they have a pink one, which is a hypertherm, and it is called a uh, torch coolant, 30% PG mixture. Each one of them is one gallon. They have that have this pink one, and I believe they have a blue one, and I can't remember the name of that. Um, the reason that I've got a colored one this time, before I even go to that, let me tell you. These are like 72 bucks for the pair. So, it's not cheap. Which is why I'm saying so many people will put water and alcohol or antifreeze or RV antifreeze. They always want that budget solution to not spend money. If you got an expensive machine, spend the money. It's that simple. So anyways, back to the colors. The reason I'm using different colors on this is because when you use a clear liquid, your sight glass is clear. You cannot see the liquid unless you put up a, a flashlight to it or you open the lid up here and you put a light in it and you can see the, where the line is. Um, my warning is right here. This is pretty much almost full. This whole area is pretty much almost full. I don't think you can see on the inside. 
Probably not. Anyways, it's still basically full when it's at the warning. So I don't understand that because the drain hose is like actually way down here on the bottom. So even if you were right here, there's still plenty of water. The only reason I can think of that being the warning is because the lesser the water, the more the use of the TIG torch, the hotter the water can get. That's my theory. So long story short, I'm using this one because it was the least expensive at $72 for the pair. It's colored water. When I put it in here, you can't see it right now because obviously it's empty. But even if I had water in here, clear water, you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm going to use the colored and we're going to see if you can actually see where the watermark is once I install it. So let me get set up here. We'll put it in and we'll go from there. All right, let's get this going. Take her cap off. Get our hypertherm. Cut our seal. Bottoms up and enjoy. Let's see if I can do this without spilling any. Whoa. I'm good. Thirty-five fifty down the drain. One bottle. And it looks like we're halfway there. Alright. Number two. See if we can get this in without spilling it. Two gallons puts it almost all the way to the top. And yeah, so I can actually see it. You might not be able to see it in, in the camera, but it's actually kind of pinkish. Oh my God, did you just get that? Red, 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 red everywhere and the liquid was freaking almost red, pinkish. I'm telling you guys, I didn't plan this. Like all these freaking reds. Oh, you still really can't see inside. That's kind of stupid. Anyway. You can see it's full, so you cannot see a line on there. Oh, there you go, look. That is super bright pink with the light inside it. So obviously, it's super full. Maybe on a later date, um, if the line comes down, which will probably take a long time, I'll show you what it looks like, but I believe because it is darker. Actually, you can see it in the film a little. You can see the kind of pinkish in it. So I think you will be able to see the line when it comes down and then just refill it. So that was actually two bottles. It took two bottles to fill it up, obviously, because it's two gallons. 
and these are two gallon tanks for the cooler and uh, I'm just glad to know that I have real coolant in it and I'm not using antifreeze or some other crazy stuff to get it get it going let me turn it on let me get it set up real quick we'll turn it on make sure there's no leaks so I don't know how many of you guys have this same setup I have with the uh, EXT 255 or 255 EXT and the power cool W300 um, let's turn it on see if we got any leaks now the machine alone oh my god look it's got the red lights in it too how much more red can there be insane I swear I didn't plan this okay let me put the cap back on here. Now I'm sure you can hear it just with the 255 running. It's not really loud, but it's loud. I think the only other thing I could say bad about Everlast is that the fans don't come on when it starts to heat up. They're constantly running. As soon as you turn it on, it's running which I really don't care I don't mind when you turn on your water pump now listen to it yeah pretty loud but not unbearable it's not unbearable at all Give it a couple seconds. Make sure nothing's leaking. I'm gonna lay this flat so that if it is leaking, the water will run straight down instead of running downwards. It'll just run straight down onto the side of that. Let it run for a sec. So once again, this is hypertherm, porch coolant. Here's your ingredients. 69.8% point, water. Propylene glycol, industrial grade, 30%. And then you have your benzo triazole, which is 2%. I don't know what that, that part is. But um, it also resists freezing. If you live somewhere where it's really, really cold, uh, it'll resist freezing up to minus 10. That's a lot. All right. No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. no leaks so we're good all right so this is basically just for the uh, cooler coolant I thought I'd give you a little update on what I use and you know you know what's good for you and what you want to do and what your budget will allow I know a lot of my stuff doesn't show like budget builds or budget uh, equipment or stuff like that I spend the money uh, even if I'm broke I spend the money I, I take care of the equipment that I use and I never have a problem I'm sure that you know things happen but uh, I recommend it I've never used it before but I did a lot of research on what I should use and hypertherm is one of the one of the major uh, badass companies that that doesn't have a bad name to their water cooler cooling all right guys have a great one like subscribe and comment it will help me out in the end and uh, I'll make more videos for you. Have a good day.